Howdy, welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I am Banjo Ben, your humble instructor here at BanjoBenClark.com. This is your home for learning all things concerning the banjo, mandolin, and today the guitar. We're con continuing our, uh, our rhythm lesson series so far. I've had four different video lessons on this. If you haven't seen those, you need to go to the website. If you're already here, you're here. But if you're on YouTube, you need to go to BanjoBenClark.com and for a, a very low price, trust me, the lowest I could make it and still try to afford to be able to do these, um, you can have full access as a Gold Pick member to all of my videos and tabs that I um, upload each and every week. I update that each and every week. I add the 20 or 30 minute uh, video lesson series. Um, this week, we're going to continue on. We've already had four uh, guitar rhythm videos, and we're going, going to continue on from there. I want to go over just real quick what we've learned so far, and then kind of give you a clue as to where we're heading. Uh, we started at the very beginning, talking about just right hand mechanics, talking about how to make um, the three chords that we're starting with. We'll move on to other chords. Uh, later on as we get more advanced, but right now we're dealing with just our G, our C, and our D. We talked about our right hand, just the kind of the mechanics behind what our right hand's doing in rhythm. Then we started out with that basic boom chick, boom chick rhythm that, that Bluegrass is kind of famous for, but it's, it's a good starting point for everyone. It's just grabbing the bass note and strum right? for all three chords. Then we moved on from there and uh, made it into more of a boom chicky, right? Instead of just the boom chick, it's a boom chicky. Uh, it sounds like this. We talked about how to get that nice little upstroke in there, that tickle, right? All right. Then um, in the last video installment, with the fourth video, we talked about adding uh, something at the beginning of our G chords that gives it that real bluegrass drive that you hear um, this little hammer on down here on the E string. Um, it gives it a great little um, spiciness. Oh, that's good. Isn't it? So where we're going from now, okay, from here on out, what we're going to do is continue to build upon our basic model that we've had here. Uh, so many times when people teach rhythm, they um, they. Uh, take for granted that you already know certain things. Um, I'm making very, very sure that if you start at video one and progress through, no matter if you've never picked up a guitar, you're able to keep up with me, okay? So if you've followed videos one through four, you should be able to do this. Through all three chords. what we're going to do is concentrate on building our backbeat and our rhythm. You may wonder what that is. Um, so far we've been dealing mainly on the downbeats. One, two, three, four, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick. Well, we're going to start introducing more of a kind of syncopated feel so that we get more of that kind of locomotive, like a, you know, a train getting started. That type of, of rhythm makes it more interesting, especially when you're accompanying yourself. Um, and you don't have a band, but especially when you're with a band, um, just getting really in sync and in groove with the band. Uh, I think Jimmy Martin called it kind of the rumbling rhythm, you know, and it, it's going to sound something like this. And as you get it faster, it creates quite a wall of sound. situation or if you're accompanying yourself. Also from here we're going to um, to work on our transitions from chords, okay? Um, we don't always just want to pop to the next chord. Many times we will want to give our audience and our band members a clue as to where we're going so we can do something like this. It's going to be a lot of fun. If 
you're watching this on YouTube, I invite you over to BanjoVinClark.com. Join as a Gold Pick member um, and have access to all this material. For those of you who have joined as a Gold Pick member, thank you so much. You're the reason why I can continue to put out these videos each and every week. Let's dive right into this rhythm where we left off. <laughs> 